is up guys this is keep back here and welcome back to another episode of the pokemon alpha sapphire randomizer nuzlocke today we are going to be a little bit more maybe this whole week i don't know how many i'm going to record tonight but we're going to be a little bit more laid back it's nighttime, as you could tell as in our game and that grinding montage was literally one hour over an hour shoved into five minutes so i don't know how well how good it looks at all yet i haven't looked at it but um yeah it's just kind of it's hard. It is really, really difficult to do grinding montages just because, like I said, there is no speed up, there is no EXP codes, there's nothing I could do <coughs> to make it easier on myself like I do in any other emulated Let's Play. So it just sucks. I mean, I could... Gen that's the question. We're going to ask this question here at the beginning of this video while everybody is still here. Should I... Should I make the exception because I hate grinding so much, it just takes so long. So should we gen in um, Lucky Eggs? Should I gen in Lucky Eggs to increase experience? Because keep in mind, on an emulated Let's Play, I uh, modify experience gain depending on where we are in the game. Like if we're really early in the game, like say, um, say we're, we haven't even got the first gym badge and we're like, oh crap, we already lost a lot of Pokemon or like a few Pokemon, we have level twos against level like 15s i'd probably grind um normal normal exp gain but i wouldn't be too worried about it but here's our levels i'm just going to show this off real quick there's some things i want to do before we go to the uh seafloor cavern but we have dice or uh, uh dice k here ice jj fish nevermand dory sephiroth and matt we actually do have nevermand on the overlay now because i've decided nevermand is going to be our sixth team member but right now she's just everybody's a low level so these guys really need some training so they're gonna be switch training as well i'm keeping the experience shirt on because it's just extra levels without uh risking anything but a lot of the grinding montage as you may have t been able to tell wasn't actually grinding but me looking for i was looking for a thick club i have thief on nevermind and i was pretty much just destroying stuff hoping to find a thick club to make my life easier but Real quick here, I'm going to fly up the fiery pass path because I want to go to the secret base and I want to test something. I want to test something to see if we can do this for grinding. I don't know how well it's going to work though. It might, I think I can only do it once a day. But still, I mean, if I could even just do it once right now, that's like stupid amounts of levels. And you'll see what I mean when we get there. Who's in front? Who is in front? Dice, dice, dice K, all right. As long as Dice K's in front, it should be easy. What is this guy doing here? Oh my god. Stop. 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 I don't care about that. I do not care about that. Alright. I'm actually... That guy is so relevant to what I'm doing right now, but still. What I'm trying to do is go to the secret base. Oh, hey, Wurmple. I'm trying to go to my secret base that I know I have. I don't want to teach anybody secret power. But I'm going to my secret base so that I can actually try using a QR code. I want to try using a QR code to see if I cannot... To see if I cannot... Um, ah, if I can't battle a trainer with three blissies. I don't know what level they are because I haven't beat the game. Once you beat the game, you get an item that makes every uh, trainer in there have nothing but level 100s, if you want to. But me personally, I'm like, whatever. Just let me battle them. This is literally the worst Pokemon you could have sent in. Mm, I really don't know who to send out to fight him. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna also, I don't know, we're probably not gonna do it too much this episode. I'm just gonna put Nevermand out front while I surf down route, the route with the Marowax. And off screen, I think I'm gonna go back and keep thiefing up just Marowax. I'm gonna buy a bunch of repels and just thief Marowax until I, um, until I actually find one that has a thick club. Because there's a 5% chance. There's a 5% chance. So that's logist, or er, uh, statistically, or however, whatever the correct word would be, we should find one within 20 Marowax. But that is just an estimate that is not completely accurate at all. Where'd it go? Isn't this mine? Yeah, okay. So now I am in Q-Box base. Can I... Here, let's see. What would I like to do? I would like to... Um... 
manage can in QR code patch from other people's bases. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're going to find a secret base. We can scan a QR code pattern and load other secret bases. When you scan a QR code, you will load the layout for another place secret base and a brief message will be entered. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We got our camera now. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Alright, but let's, um, where's my phone? My phone's right here. We're gonna look up Smogin Secret Base QR code. It said Smokin. Okay, give me a moment. Alright, here's what I got. Okay, that wasn't right. <laughs> it actually showed up a QR code. But Smogin Secret Base. Okay. So we're gonna see, because if I, I could do this once a day if this does work. Um, okay, let's see. First, or er, read the first post before posting. Alright, so this is the first post. Okay, all you have to do is put secure code in base and locate an ad description. Right, okay, so let's see. No, oh, that's not what I want. I want the actual, not the forums. I want your QR code, because I know you have one on here. Is it really giving me all this other stuff? It really is. It really is. Experience training. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is weird. I don't think this is right. Let's see. Um, here's a Reddit post. I know I just saw it too. It was on my actual screen though. I want to like find the one on my phone. Um. Alright. So update level 100 Blissey secret base. Okay, but you don't have the picture. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Oh, I have to hit A while I look at it? That's weird. Data has been read. Okay. So is it going to put us in the... May's secret base appeared around Route 117. What would you like to do? Okay, it appeared around Route 117. What does that mean? I have to go to Route 117 and it should be there? Let's see, let's see, let's see. See, we're just like experimenting this episode. This is like the, the chill, relax, fine stuff episode. So that's Route 118, that's Route 118. 117 is the one route leading to the place I have not yet been. For whatever reason, I still haven't gone to uh, Verdant Turf Town. I really don't know why I haven't gone to Verdant Turf Town. That really blows my mind that I haven't been there yet. We're gonna go over there right now. Might as well if we're going this way, anyways. Alright, so there should be. I don't know what level these blissies are gonna be since I don't have the thing. But okay, so we just gotta battle some trainers, cause you know. Um, but I have no idea where this base is gonna be. But it said it's hard to miss. But Litwick and Klefki. These are literally two Pokemon that so many people hate for design. I hate Klefki. Klefki is the dumbest Pokemon. I don't know if Klefki's good or not, but I just hate the way Klefki looks. It just, it's a piece of butt. So it looked like I'm gonna bone, bone him ring though. Oh, I thought for some reason I could Mega Evolve this Kyurem. I was like, what the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? Can, I don't, okay. It's gonna die either way. I don't know what I'm worried about. Okay, battle scene is still off. I have to fix this. This is a problem that's been going on for a while now. But I'm gonna fix it right now. As soon as this battle is over, since I'm thinking about it, it's just because I turn it off for grinding, because grinding takes so much longer if you have battle scene on. Like, it seriously, that would have taken me two hours, probably. You could cut your, um, you could cut your, your time in half by putting your battle scene, your battle effects off. So, let's see, battle style is still switch, battle effects on, confirm. Okay, now we will be seeing our animations again. And all that good jazz. Okay, who, where, when, how, what, up here? No. 
There is an item up here. I don't think I have cut. I don't. Um, yeah, what the heck do I go? What is this item down here? How did I miss all this stuff? Well, I guess I didn't really go down here. I got... Phantom would have been cool. Did I get Phantom? Was that my encounter here? No, Karakosta was, and it killed my Reg Ice. That's what my encounter was. But did I even get the Mawile Light? There's a Great Ball. Maybe I did go there. I just didn't heal, so I didn't get anything out of it. Let's see. Because I, I could have sworn I got Mawile Light. I didn't. I did not even touch the Mawile Light. Alright, we got that now. I'm gonna go in here and heal just so I can fly here because it just I'm so OCD my entire map my entire map is good except for Verdant Turf because I never came here but all right all right we are going to what's today's date never mind I was gonna say something but I can't because it hasn't happened yet <laughs> I forgot I forgot that this is a uh, the, the glories of bulk recording where you don't know what's happening when. And for some reason, I still don't- it baffles my mind every time I hear about this. But for some reason, people still get mad when YouTubers bulk record. And I'm like, you realize we have lives. Like, oh my god! Unless you're like shady or nappy or a big YouTuber, you're not gonna be able- oh my god. Okay, this route is just- oh my god. Okay, I hope it explodes. What level are you? 19? I can take you. I can take you. But... Um... What was I saying now? What was I saying? But unless you're... Yeah, okay. Unless you're, like, living off of YouTube. Unless YouTube is your primary source of income, and that is your quote-unquote job, you can't, you can't expect somebody that isn't like that to record every day the day of or the day before after the last video has gone up it's not gonna happen especially with daily series that's not gonna happen this isn't a daily series i know but just you're not going to get that any out of anybody you're not going to get a um you're not going to get something where they can't bulk record where they record everything i mean you might get it out a few people who don't have jobs and are like out of school and just doing this because they don't know what else to do at the time but me like i have a job right now i have a job I work every single uh, weekday, Monday through Friday, from 12 to 4. So I don't really have time during the week. Well, I do. I do have time during the week to record these if I wanted to every single day. Because what I could do, I know this, is I could go and record in the morning. And then I could uh, edit while I'm at work, let it render. And then get home and upload. That is something I could do, but videos wouldn't be up at noon like I already have them. But the only issue... Why does this trainer have so much weak, like, low-level power? But... Just, it's, it like, it would not be happening for me to have to wake up early every morning to record and edit and render. And then come home from work at 4 and have to upload. Because I hate uploading late. Like, I upload at noon every day. And that's like, I honestly love that upload schedule. Just noon every day, it's simple, it's to the point, and it's easy for me to schedule. And if I have two uploads in a day, I'll do noon and two, because it's two hours apart. I don't want them right next to each other. But, um, it just, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to have to wake up early every morning and be dead tired recording these episodes. I'd rather be able to record them in my own time while I'm asleep. Oh, I just found it. I just found it. Do I get to battle her as soon as I go in here? Team Super's secret base. You, right? The name's May. Are you enjoying the secret base life? May seem... Okay, I tried taking on the Pokemon League for the first time a little while ago. I managed to win my way through. Uh, do you need something? I want to battle you. Come back tomorrow. Do you need something? I really... I want you to be my pal. I'd be so delighted. Okay. So now we're pals. And the, are you the one I battle? Come again tomorrow? What is that? What is that crap? What is that crap? What would I like to do? I would like to... Battle you. That's so butt. That is butt. So I do all of this and I can't even battle her. It says come again tomorrow. 
So do I just need that thing in my base for it to work or no? I don't know. We'll try again some other day. But, okay, let's actually get on to story progression and real stuff now. Uh, I believe. I believe that's what we could do. We can go to Safari. No, we're not going to Safari. No, that's too much. Um, but we do need to go to... I believe it's all the way down on Route 128. So we're just going to fly to Route 120. I can't fly to Route 127. I'll fly here. It's kind of butt. I really think you should be able to fly to any route if you can. Just kidding. They have. They have incredibly amounts increase their flying radius rather than only cities and that's so cool to me how you could literally fly anywhere that's like the coolest thing well i shouldn't say literally fly anywhere because i just the, the demonstrated areas you can't but the fact that you can fly to some routes most routes uh and i don't know what's the word routes or routes i don't care i'm calling it routes but the yeah because route 66 yeah so the fact that you can fly to most routes is just really cool to me. Who is that? That's not a Marowak. It's not a Marowak. I'm not only fighting them because, like, oh my god, Marowak! Because I want a thick club. Be a Marowak. Be a Marowak. Give me a thick club. Give me a thick club right now. You're a Marowak. That's step one. That's step one. You are a Marowak. Level 29, like all the rest of them. I'm gonna thief you, and you're gonna give me a. You're gonna give me a thick club, right? Give me a thick club. Nope. You're just gonna rage. I'm not even going to bother finishing this fight. There's really no point to finishing a fight because they give no experience. They give no experience. That is a Marowak. Okay, let's let's sneak up on him. Where is he at? Okay, he has Parish Song. What kind of Marowak is this? A Parish Song Marowak. Why have I never heard of that? An egg move? That has to be an egg move. Yeah, it is because it had the exclamation mark. So that's always egg moves, I think. I believe, don't hold me to that. But yes, have a thick club. I know it probably should tell me if it has a thick club if we deck snap it. Okay, no, you don't have. Okay, never mind. Alright, bye Marowak, I'm sorry. I don't want to kill him, I hate- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna knock out a whole bunch of Marowak just to get a thick club. I'm just trying to take one off of one. Hey, it's where I'm supposed to be. Did I say Route 128? It did, didn't it? That means this is technically an encounter. But unless it's something crazy, I'm not even going to bother at this point. Because grinding is just not the business. I mean, I got a Marowak last row, row, route, 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 uh, last area, I got a Marowak, which is something special to me. Like, Marowak is really special to me as a Pokemon, just because that's my favorite Pokemon, and it's not very often I actually get one. So getting a Marowak uh, was just something I couldn't give up, like... There's Genesect on this route. If I encounter Genesect, I'll throw... I'm just going to throw a few Pokeballs at it. If it doesn't get caught... Okay, I got a Smoochum. I don't want a Smoochum. I'm not even going to bother catching this Smoochum. I am not. You're not worth my time, Smoochum. But there was Genesect on this route. I see him. I see him in that. Genesect, there is... I think that's either Phantom or Duskull. Or, um... Aromatisse's little whatever thing. I don't know. And I see a Scatterbug. I believe that's Scatterbug. That might be Rock and Roller and something below Rock and Roller, but... We're not messing with it. We are not messing with it. Okay, maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to go yet. Yeah, okay. So I can't do anything here, so I'm a liar. I think that's the top of the seafloor cavern. I think that's the top. So in that case, I need to go into that little set of dive stuff. And then we should be fine. And then we should be fine. Let me point this out my mouth a little bit better. Okay, that... I'm sorry if that was loud. My mic just always seems so crooked to me because I have this, it's a weird setup I got going on, you know, but okay, we're going to dive. But yeah, my mic, I really need to get a real pop filter. I really need to get a new mic. My mic isn't like super good. Okay, here, yeah. Okay, now we're making progress into Seafloor Cavern. And this, keep in mind, this is actually going to be my first time, well, it doesn't happen right now. But I haven't played Alpha Sapphire yet. I've only played Omega Ruby all the way through. Okay, so now we're actually here at Seafloor Cavern. Which is also an encounter, but once again, unless it's something crazy, I'm not going to bother. I kind of want it to be a Pelipper. That's a Gligar. That's not terrible. But what level is it? 
That's not a bad level at all. That is not a bad level at all. I'm gonna thief it. See if it has a... See if it has a... I don't know. Does Gligar have a specific item that it uses good? I don't think so. But you are... I'm never gonna use you, though. Because I have two ground types as it is. So that makes this difficult. That really does make this difficult. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, you're gonna U-turn me. That's not appreciated at all. That's not appreciated at all. But I have Muddy Water on this guy too now. I don't know why I have Surf and Muddy Water, but I was like, screw it. Muddy Water, I just like it because it lowers accuracy. But I'm probably never gonna use that unless I'm like relying on an accuracy drop. But, oh well. It was better than, um, I forget what it had, but it was better than it. I know that. Do I have anybody of strength? I don't think, nope. So that should be fun. That should be a fun time right now. Strength, where is it? Now I have to pick a Pokemon to learn it. And honestly, I'm kind of feeling Dory. I'm kind of feeling Dory the HM Slave right now, because you're going to learn Waterfall too. But Strength is better than... It's not better than Mud Bomb. It is, but it's not. Here, let's see our stats. I like how they show that. You're a physical attacker, though. You are a... Your nature is absolutely crap. And you're a physical attacker, so you know what? You're getting strength. You're getting strength. And then we're going to take away Muddy Water for Waterfall once we get there. So yeah, you're going to have some physical attacks. So you're going to have Surf, of course. But you're going to have some physical attacks, alright? Alright. Okay, do I need Rock Smash too? I think I do. I really don't want to teach anybody Rock Smash. I really don't want to teach anybody Rock... We're going to go without it for now, but if we run into the point where we need it... Then we'll unfortunately teach somebody, then I'll delete it later and uh, put a TM on him. I'm getting a really good TM in this area, by the way. I know it's here, I can't wait to get it. Because it is honestly going to be a game-changing TM. Yeah, okay, wait, no, I should battle these people. I should really battle these people. Um, because... I, I know, I know uh, Dice K could definitely use the experience against high-level Pokemon. But I'm going to have Dice Gate lead, just so I get all of it, or most of it. Because I actually looked it up. I looked up how um, experience and experience share works in ORAS and X and Y. I don't know if it's like this in X and Y, but pretty much the way it works... Is that shiny? Or is Floor just one of those color-changing Pokemon? I don't know. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I don't even know what type it is completely, so I'm going to just... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have stayed in. 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 Oh, God. That was honestly terrifying. That was honestly terrifying. I just realized we're level low. We're level low. We can't make these mistakes. Okay, we're sending in Sephiroth. No. Yes. Yes, Sephiroth. But... Um, what the heck was I talking about? What the heck was I really just talking about? I don't know. I don't know, man. I hate that. That's one thing I hate. I really forgot that that fast. But okay. I don't even know what to do to you. We're just gonna foul play you. And you avoid it. And she avoids it. Now she's gonna pedal dance me again. And oh my god. This floor just is already a huge, huge issue. Wow, we just got here. I have a lot of hyper potions, by the way. I bought those. I do not regret it at this point. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do, um, I shouldn't say in between episodes, because we're probably going to be down here next episode too, but what I am going to do is, eventually, eventually, once we get out of here and we get to a part where I'm actually back out on the surface, able to fly around, don't tell me that's super effective. It is, Sephiroth's gone. <laughs> I can't keep a Pokemon. I can't keep a Pokemon. <sighs> I didn't think. I didn't know the difference. I didn't know the level, how it adds up between Dark and Fairy, and that ultimately cost me the ultimate sacrifice of Sephiroth. So there goes Zork. Man. That, I'm so mad. But we're gonna, we do have a backup, we do have a backup, and his name is Reginald. Reginald's gonna come back, because of, obviously he didn't want to leave if he threw, if he threw Sephiroth out. He's like, no, 
he he manipulated this game. All right, but that I I mean, in a way that it's not good. It's not good by any means. But it definitely made a decision easier. It made a decision easier because I didn't want to get rid of Sephiroth just because he was so powerful. He was a dark type. Well, not because he was a dark type, but he was a Zork. Um, wow, I just got rid of Mud Bomb. I've never regretted it more. But, yeah, it's just, and now we're paralyzed. And now we are paralyzed, ladies and gentlemen. What does that do? Don't tell me your physical, okay, your special defense raised. But, yeah, that's butt. That's butt on a stick. But no, um, it does make the, the question easier as to... Would I rather a double dark types on my team or double... Well, I didn't have double grass types, but... It adds coverage. It adds coverage, honestly. Because before, I could have gotten rid of Sephiroth for uh, Nevermind and been fine. Because my types, I'd have a whole bunch of different types. But now, they're forcing a grass type back. An energy root. I don't want an energy root. You just killed my friend. What is that? Is that a Whalmer? Oh, oh balls! Okay, this cave literally might be our savior right now. Nevermind, where are you at? We gotta go heal. We gotta go heal. So I might honestly, this episode's been really, really anticlimactic. But hold on, if I could find even one lucky egg in here, be a Pelipper. Be a Pelipper. Be a Pelipper. You're a throw. A throw. Throw. But I am seriously about to okay here's my plan here's my plan we're gonna make this a little bit of an extended episode and we're gonna start some tra chaining and whatnot on uh, getting certain Pokemon but I'm gonna now that I have this place discovered I think I could fly back I believe I could fly back to where I need to be for the most part but there are Pelipers in this cave and there are Marowax out there so I need a thick club and a lucky egg but if I could, if I could, oh my god, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? I swear, if Neverman dies. No, you're slow as heck. What am I doing? But I have a whole bunch of stuff I got to do at the Pokemon Center. So now that I have this place, hopefully, hopefully I could fly back. I'm just going to go to the nearest, uh, back to Moss Deep real quick. Just because I want to, I want to, of course, lay Sephiroth off to Wrath pick up Reginald and just kind of do what we need to do but I want to wow that was pointless I want to I want to do that though and um, now that I know Pelipers are here I want to buy repels that was definitely a cricket tune that is an in uh, un miss that's like a what would the word be a very distinguishable cry. Alright, but... Bring me up. I don't know why they have to show that thing every single time. Alright, so now we're up here. Now, let's... Let's just hope we can fly back somewhat close. Um, you know what my favorite town in all of this game is? Actually, I don't know. It's a tie between Fort Tree and Pacific Log. I really like Pacific Log Town, uh, Pacific Log, Pacific Log Town, I don't know how I'm saying, even pronouncing that right, but I honestly love Pacific Log Town because it's just so cool to me how it's a floating town to me. Um, it's just a floating town, like, on actual logs and rafts and stuff. It's like, just like, hey, this is a spot in the middle of the ocean, let's settle here and make a town. Like, that, that's so cool to me. I mean, I like Fort Tree because I like the idea of tree houses and stuff, and it's kind of like, hey, it's a forest. Let's build our home into these trees instead of tearing them down to make room for our home. Let's make this our home instead of make a home here, you know? But Pacific Log has just always been so... Okay, I can't leave yet. I have stuff to do in that box. It's always been so cool to me, just the idea of a town just floating. Just a floating... Well, I shouldn't say city, but... I really do like that, and I like it because it's on water. It's more nature-oriented, 
and I'm like huge on nature and all that crap. I love nature. I love all that. But okay, there's our eighth death. Unfortunately, Sephiroth. Look at all this power in our dead box. Greninja and a Sephiroth and a Shaman and an Ursa Ring. Oh my God. Yeah. Let's not ever look in there again because it just makes me want to cry. But we do have a level 48 superior here as our backup levels. What level is this? I should have picked that up. But okay, okay. Now what I gotta do? I'm gonna tell you what I gotta do. Cause that's what I'm gonna do, you do 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 Um, I gotta- what is that noise? I don't know how loud that is, I'm sorry. I- I- they play- my dad plays stuff downstairs way too loud, it's really annoying. My ears are actually going bad because of it, I'm assuming that's why, I mean, I don't see any other reason they'd be going bad, but- yeah, so I can't I can't do anything about that because I go ask him to turn it down. He's just gonna turn it down like two notches, which really, if you guys know how TV works, it's not gonna sound like it went down at all. And yeah, you know, but it's down technically, so who cares? Yeah, I really, I really, that's that's. I already asked a question today. We will ask that question tomorrow because I wanted to record that video right now after this. But we have all this background noise now, and that's lovely. So I'm gonna just keep consistently talking before, so I could drown it out. But see, this is a big reason, a big, big reason why I want my own place is just, I'm young, I'm young, so don't, don't think, yeah, that's, I need to, I would soundproof my room, but that's more expensive than getting my own place. But I really, really do want my own place to live. I mean, I think that would be the coolest thing. Just because I'd be able to record without disturbing anybody. And stuff like this wouldn't happen where people are disturbing me. Like, I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Nobody else would have to worry about anything. Because I'd be on my own. I'd be away from everyone. I'd be in a place where nobody is trying to sleep. Nobody is watching TV way too loud. And it would be fine. It would honestly be perfect. It would be my... Wow, that, I haven't even, oh my god, that's so annoying. Get out of here. Who's in front? Who's in front? Is this all Neverman? It should be, yeah. Because you got Thief, Neverman. We need you. Who is this? Who is this? Okay, that's just a level 51 shield on. That really gives no experience, even the level 51s. Okay, this is not a, uh, I know this isn't a Marowak, because my Marowak, that's a, yeah. I need a Marowak. There's a Marowak. I know the cry now. I've learned it. He has chip away. Dang. Alright, so if he doesn't have a... If he doesn't have a... Thick club, we destroy him. And that should chain. That should chain our encounters. And our shine. It's like chaining, chaining for shinies. Pretty much. And if we find a shiny Marowak, I'm catching it. I'm just telling you guys now. I am catching that shiny Marowak. Um, you didn't have a thick club, so I'm just going to switch now into Dory, and Dory is going to kill you. I think that's going to be my chain, but I think a lot of this I'm going to do off screen because I don't want to sit here and bug you guys with it forever. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna give it a few more minutes just in case it does happen, and then I'm gonna do this again on Pelippers. Um, I'm gonna fly back there and do it on Pelippers because they have lucky eggs, and if I find even one, that just makes the whole the whole process so much easier. Okay, there we go. Marowak fainted. I'm sorry, Marowak. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Alright, so now we should just get an immediate another one, right? Or no? No? I thought it was every capture or defeat you get. Isn't that how you cha chain in Dexnav? No. This isn't what I want. I said not what I want. Come on, Marowak. I am using... That's a Swampert. I don't know where this Swampert is, but I know that's a Swampert. Right? Yeah. Watch. Yeah. Get out of my face. Come on, Marowak. Give me some love. Give me some love. What the heck was that? Oh, it's a Spearow. And of course, I come off the water. But yeah, I'm going to be doing this for a while for a long while after this episode probably because I really I really want this freaking thick club because that makes that makes Marowak so much better 
that makes Marowak just so much better. And I think it would be showing it. I think it'd be showing me its held item is a thick club if it had one. But I'm gonna just keep going. Um, I'm just gonna keep going and doing this, and tr and hoping that it just didn't show me because I swear, I just want the sick club already. And he used rage. Can I just destroy him with Neverman? That's my real question. Can I just punishment you? I don't think that really does anything. Oh, that did a little bit. Okay, you're false swiping. Like, this Marowak's not trying to hurt anybody. He keeps false swiping. He's just like, hey, I want to hurt you, but I don't want to kill you, you know? And you live on one. And you live on one. 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 That's my boy. That's my boy, Marowak. I love you. I love you, Daisuke. All right. All right, let's see. Is it going to give us another one? That's not another one. That's a Spiro or a fart. No, it is a Spiro. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to find one more Marowak and then we're going to end this episode off because it's going like way over. Just because I'm really. I don't know why I'm doing this on screen. That's a Gastrodon. I know Marowak's cry now on this game. I've always known as Cry, it's my uh, follower noise on Twitch, but now, like, I'm really determined to uh, get this thing. Oh my god, I really don't think we're ever going to find it though, in all honesty, I don't think we're ever going to find this sick club, and that hurts my heart. <coughs> because this thick club, honestly, thick club is the best item I could ask for right now in the game besides a lucky egg. I think a Thick Club would be more helpful than a Lucky Egg, because it makes my Marowak w twice as useful. Literally twice as powerful. It doubles my attack stat. And that gets my Earthquakes I'm about to be getting. It makes that, like, dumb strong. But come on. Come on, Marowak. There we go. There is my boy. I have a level 16 on here for now. You have Endure. You have Endure. You are not trying to die, huh? But okay, just give us a Thick Club. Just give us a thick club. If not, is there even a point in defeating you? Because I'm probably gonna have to watch like some some root whatever training methods. Okay, he didn't give us a thick club. I'm really getting kind of annoyed with this. Okay, you can endure. You weren't gonna die anyways. But all right, guys. With that, I'm just gonna end this episode because I don't know what else to do. Really, I mean. But I, I, I'm not finding a thick club. I'm going to look through my bag in case I picked one up from one of these guys and did not even realize. I'm going to look through my bag right now. Right now. And that's so... Why? What is the point to that? Oh, my God. That really... Big, 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 big annoyance right there. It's just my dad not being able to uh, have normal ears. And I know we get here quieter than this because he watches stuff quieter than this all the time. And it's fine. But no. When I'm recording, let's just play everything at a million levels above. But, alright guys, uh, with that, I'm going to end this episode. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like to share your support. I know it was a little bit longer because I was messing around, uh, but screw it. We're going to hopefully have a lucky egg and a thick club by next episode. So, um, if you're hyped for that, make sure to leave a like on this episode. I don't know why. But, <laughs> as always, my name is Cubewack. I am signing out, and I will catch all of you guys in the next one.